I can't think of a better place to start exploring the country than Oregon. It's so beautiful up here. In some ways, it reminds me of Alaska. The ocean is cold and the morning fog is so dense that sometimes you can't see very far at all. But then it goes away and you find these green forests and blue rivers and all kinds of trails new and old. It's easy to get lost in there. Those trails lead to cities. For us, they lead to the colorful city of Portland. Yes, the sun's out again. East of Portland is Old Mount Hood and the Columbia River Gorge. Jason here is going to teach me how to kite surf. Come on kids. Let's do this. Hold on to the control bar because it's going to pull you to your feet. That, yep, that'll reduce the power. And then when you pull in, that's how you get more power. If you pull right, it will go right. If you pull left, it'll go left. Okay. So if I dive the kite a little bit, it's going to pull me and it's going to bring me to my feet. You want to go first? I love that. Yeah. Get me in the water. Once you start figuring out how to work with the wind and the tension, and there's just so much to improve on, it's uh, ah. <laughs> I think Ariel did amazing. She took the instruction and came back yesterday, practiced more, and now today is just showing control and purposeful flying of the kite, and it's cool to just see the progression. I finally got it. I can't wait to tell my friends back home. Now, let's see how the pros do it. Next, we're headed to one of the first national parks in America. So I'm driving through this windy road. There's these huge, huge trees. They're way bigger than the trees I normally see in Alaska. And then I go around this corner, boom, Crater Lake. It's deep and just so vast. And it's so calm, it's like glass. Quite breathtaking. I'm going to meet Evelyn Chang and a group of kids. Evelyn is going to teach us all about this environment. So different from where I grew up. It's fun being with kids because they bring a different energy. They're curious and they just ask silly questions and you're like, oh, I didn't even think to ask that. Girls on Rock started because I wanted to gain confidence by being in the outdoors and sort of demystifying the whole idea that field science is only for professionals. Anyone should be able to go to any area and sit down and observe what's around them and explore and ask questions. Nature is so inspiring. It takes you out of this narrow, myopic life that you can get yourself into if you're doing the same thing every day and forces you to have this experience where you're just in the present and really be alive. Feeling empowered after spending time at Crater Lake, there's one more thing I want to try before leaving Oregon, but I need some help. I was just wandering around Portland and then I hear these bagpipes. I play the bagpipes at the same time that I'm riding a unicycle, and it's called the Unipiper. It was never something that I planned out. I had these skills, and it was a lot of fun to do together. Whatever you do, you have your own unique voice. People want to hear it. It's time to put ourselves to the ultimate test, the Tree to Tree Ropes course. The whole experience being up there in the trees, peaceful and serene, but you're having to concentrate at the same time.
I'm really competitive, so I didn't want Brian to beat me. Climbing up these trees and swinging from branch to log. Everything's swaying and moving. I'm so fortunate to, to live here in the Pacific Northwest in Portland, where we have all of this great nature so close. It's just there, and all you have to do is get out and see it. The minute I go into the woods or to the mountains or in the ocean, that's when I think I'm the most calm and at peace. I think being curious about the world, getting outside of your comfort zone, trying new things and learning about other people makes everyone closer together. Will make you feel more alive.